right, students, lesson four, communicating enthalpy. Here we go. We're going to write balanced equations. We're going to use and interpret delta H notation to communicate, calculate energy changes in chemical reactions. And we will analyze and label energy diagrams of chemical reactions, including reactants, products, and enthalpy change. Okay, here we go. Now, you're, there's going to be some symbols you're going to see. So these are all just delta HMs, molar enthalpies. Uh, and you might see some other little subscripts. C would be for combustion. F would be for formation. Generically, for any reaction, we could just plug in R, reaction. So this is clearly a combustion. Hydrocarbon burning. <clears throat> so that's what C would be. Formation means formed from its elements. This is compound, element, compound, compound. Formation is distinctly element, element, compound. Formed, formed from its elements. And this is uh, photosynthesis. Uh, how do we classify that one? Well, let's say we didn't know. We can just plug in an R, reaction. Anyway, so if you see those symbols, that's what, that's what they mean. Now, there are four ways to communicate enthalpy. Now, um, i gotta, I got to make sure you understand something very critical here. Consider the following. Let's say 2 moles of methanol gives off 1451.8 kilojoules when it burns. So here's what that reaction would look like. You'd have to balance this. This one's been done for you. 2 ethanols plus 3 oxygens makes 2 CO2s, 4 H2Os. That gives off 1451.8 kilojoules. So let's say two moles of methanol is kind of like two logs on a fire. Okay. Now what would happen if I got rid of one of those logs? I picked it up and I just chucked it out in the woods. <laughs> Don't do that. I'll start a first fire. Picked it up and chucked it out somewhere. Okay. Now I would have one log left. How much heat would one log give off if two logs gave off 200 kilojoules? Yeah. One log would give off half as much. And so we can do that with chemical reactions. We can look at a reaction and we can say, all right, if if I have that whole equation is starts with a 2, I got 2 and then 3, 2, 4. If I divide this by 2 to get 1 methanol, I could divide the heat by 2, just like throwing one log out. Okay. Now, what I do to one thing in a reaction, I got to do to all of them. So here's what my reaction would look like. 2 gives off 1451.8. If I just burn 1 methanol, everything has been divided by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 3 over 2 is 3 over 2, or 1.5. 2 over 2 is 1. 4 over 2, four over two is 2. 1451.8 divided by 2 is 725.9. So we can do that in this unit. We can take a reaction and double it. We can take a reaction and cut it in half. Or we can take a reaction and triple it. We're going to do lots of different things. Okay. <clears throat> so, now, uh, we're going to say the same thing four different ways. So we're going to start with this. Here is, here is something we want to communicate. Okay, we want to communicate this. Kind of like, um, I always use this example. It would be kind of like, uh, like in Valentine's Day. People communicate love in very different ways. Some people send flowers. That's the first way to communicate love. Some people send a card. That's another way to communicate love. Some people um, will take somebody out to dinner. That's another way to communicate love. All we're doing today is communicating heat four different ways. Way number one is called molar enthalpy, which you already know about. This is for one mole of a specific substance. Here's what it looks like. We just calc we just express or say that delta H M equals some value, but it has to be over a mole because that's what molar means. Your chemistry students, you know, molar mass means grams per mole. Well, molar enthalpy is joules or kilojoules per mole. So. Here's an example. Write the molar enthalpy of combustion of one mole of methanol. Well, this has two methanols. I just want one. So I'm going to have to divide that by two. 
I'm going to have to divide everything by 2. And now I know my molar enthalpy. My molar enthalpy is I take 1 methanol. I burn it. I burn my 1 methanol. And I give off negative 725.9 kilojoules per 1 mole. This says the same thing as this. It's the same thing. Because you can look at that and go, say, okay, when methanol burns, and then you have to think in your mind what the reaction is. Okay, it's this reaction, CH3OH plus O2 makes CO2 water, gives off 725.9. Okay, so that's the first way to communicate that. Now, this is um, really important to understand. Watch this. When I, when I first show this, students then think, oh, well, it's 725.9 for methanol. But what about the oxygen and the CO2 and the water? What are their numbers? So let's say, you know, roughly 500 kilojoules are given off when, propane, when 10 grams of propane burns. Students kind of think this, okay, is, is the 503 just divided by 4? Is this one 125 and this one 125 and this one 125 and this one 125? Is that how it works? No. So watch, you got to remember that this C is also this C. It's the same C. It's the same H. It's the same O. So remember this demonstration from the, the other unit. I have my propanes and my oxygens, and they burn. So the bonds break, chaos, scatter, look for a new partner, reform. Those are the same carbons that were always there. All of these atoms never left. They weren't destroyed. They weren't created. They just got rearranged. And when that happens, all this energy is given off. 503 kilojoules. So the energy that you see is for everything. Okay? Because everything's participating. Okay. Good. We happen to say methanol here, but we know that methanol is um, participating with all of these other atoms, like the oxygen atoms, and they, everything just gets rearranged, right? Okay, hopefully that makes some sense. The second way to communicate heat is what we call an enthalpy change, or delta H notation. So here's what this looks like. It's very simple. You just have a balanced equation, a space, and then a delta H value. This is not kilojoules per mole. Okay. So, what is the combustion of one mole of methanol in delta H notation? Okay, so I take this equation, I divide everything by 2 so that it's all 1, and I just write a balanced equation. CH3 plus 3 over 2 over 2 makes CO2, 2 waters, space, delta H is negative 725.9 kilojoules. Now, <clears throat> if it's exothermic, we do put in the negative. If it was endothermic, we would use a positive or just not put the positive in, and we would know you mean positive. Now, this reaction is exothermic, so that's the accurate way to write it. Okay, the third way. Energy is a term in the equation. Okay, so it's just like the last one. It's just like this one, except I just put the heat either here, or I put the, the, the heat over here, the value over here. So, it looks like this. I, I have a balanced equation, and the energy is now inside the equation. It's not like it has a space and then delta H equals. It's in the equation now. So, one mole of methanol burns. So we would go like this. My reactants produce my products plus 725.9. If it's exothermic, kilojoules go on the product side. If it's endothermic, we'd write them on the reactant side. Now, this reaction is definitely exothermic, so we have to write it like this. You will never put negative values in method number three. Okay, It's just plus this energy. And when it's on that side, it means negative. It means release. When it's on this side, it means absorb or endothermic. Exothermic, endothermic but you don't put the negatives in. Okay, method number four is a potential energy diagram. So, you'll be given an equation, you'll be given a delta H value, and then you need to put it in a diagram. If 
we have a negative value, our graph goes down. If we have a positive value, our graph goes up. So here's how this works. We have energy potential in kilojoules over here. The bottom isn't time. We call it reaction coordinate. And then reactants go on the first line. Products go on the second line. And our delta H value we, we put in here like so. Now, I have both axes labeled. I put in my reactants, I put in my products, I put in my delta H. And that delta H means the difference between here and here, that's how much was given off. 601.6 kilojoules were released. Go down means release, exothermic, um, in this reaction. There, and that's saying the exact same thing that we said in the other three. Okay, so... Uh, this is an end if this was an endothermic reaction it would look like this the graph would go up okay but it's not it's exothermic it looks like this so what would it look like if for our equation draw the potential energy diagram for the combustion of one mole of methanol okay well it would look like this energy potential reaction coordinates reactants here products here change in heat the difference between here and here I guess 725.9 kilojoules. Okay, here is one for you to try. Photosynthesis is an endothermic reaction which absorbs 2802.5 kilojoules of energy. Express this four ways. Express molar enthalpy for CO2. All right, so we want to say this. This is our message. This is our love poem. We want to say it four different ways. Okay, so how would you start this? Well, if you're stuck, um, that's the little trick I put in here. You got to bounce the equation first. So you've got to know what photosynthesis is. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so it's that plus that um, plus kilojoules of some kind go here and or produce products, um, glucose and oxygen. This value is 2802.5. Now, say that four different ways. First way, we want to do molar enthalpy for CO2. There's our CO2, but I got six logs in my fire. Divide that by six. If I divide that by six, I divide everything by six. I divide that number by six. And here's my answer. The delta HM for CO2 per mole is 467.1. That divided by six. Delta H notation. You simply write your reaction. I have a space. Delta H equals 2,802.5 kilojoules. It's endothermic, so we have to have a positive. Okay, next one. Energy as a term in the equation. We just take that value and plug it in the equation. Because it's endothermic, absorbing, it has to go on the reactant side. And my potential energy diagram has to go up. I label both axes, reactants, products delta h value okay perfect okay that's it we are done